This episode was made possible by the following. trick on my scooter, so I want to sleep in them tonight. It's extra lucky if you sleep in them. <laughs> well, that's everything neatly sorted, kiddo, so don't mess it up. Hmm. Huh? How come only one of my lucky socks is in here? Where's the other one? Did you check your foot? <laughs> um. <clears throat> I mean, this is definitely everything that was in the machine. I always triple check. I'm sure it'll turn up. Pinkalicious, have you seen my other lucky sock? I haven't, but don't worry. I'll help you find it. It's gotta be somewhere around here. I sure hope so, because everyone knows that lucky socks don't work if you just wear one. Let's search for that sock! Ugh! sock and still haven't found it. Maybe it walked off by itself and got lost. But where would a lost sock go? To the land of lost socks. Maybe you're right. The land of lost socks. Um, Joe. Where, where lost you, socks buddy? hop around looking for their partners. I'm lost. Hey, are has are anyone you? seen just a polka dotted like sock? Looks just like Try me. me. Where, Where are, are you, buddy? You? Oh, there you are. <gasps> Joe? It's me. Where have you I been? I thought I'd never see you again. <gasps> of course. If we want to find your lost sock, we just need to ask its partner. Peter, can I borrow your other sock? All right, but don't lose it. Follow me. Huh? What are you doing, Pinkalicious? <laughs> You'll see. Hmm. Peter, may I introduce you to Mr. Socko? Hello there, Peter. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Socko. So your sister tells me that my partner's gone missing. That's right. Rotten luck. 
Well, don't worry, because I'm the luckier lucky sock. And I can help you find my partner in no time. Really? Of course. It takes a sock to find a sock. I always knew I could be more than just a sock on someone's foot. Now, let's see. We need a clue. Peter, when was the last time you remember wearing us both at the same time? Uh... Think, Peter. Um... Uh... Come on, think. <sighs> now I remember. I was in the park feeling extra lucky because I had my lucky socks on, so I challenged Frida to a game of sock ball. Wait, sock ball? <clears throat> I mean, sock ball? Sounds like another clue. That's got to be where my other sock is. Come on! So what exactly is sock ball? It's a super awesome game that Frida and I invented. Kind of a mix between volleyball and soccer, but instead of a ball, we use our socks. Clean socks, that is. <laughs> you just happen to have a pair of clean socks? Of course! You never know when you're gonna get to play sock ball. Okay, here we are. The sock ball field. So the aim of the game is to keep the sock ball up in the air using just your hands. <laughs> then you have to make a goal. Mr. Socko sets Peter up for a goal. <laughs> and he puts it in a tree. Brilliant. Oh, wait, no, that's bad. That has never happened before. Ooh, that was some bad luck. It's because I'm not wearing my lucky socks. When I was wearing my lucky socks, I made an amazing goal. It was incredible. I remember. Glorious! And then what happened next? I'm a little fuzzy. Well, I did my victory dance. And then I went to cool down with a victory ice cream in the park. I remember now. Let's go! Oh, oh, brain freeze! <sighs> oh, bad luck! Oh, come on! Really? I never got brain freeze when I was wearing my lucky socks and definitely never dropped the ice cream. Don't worry, we'll share ours with you. Won't we, Mr. Socko? So, remind me. What did we do next, Pizza? Don't you remember, Mr. Socko? The ice cream helped cool my hands and my face and my tummy down, but my left foot was still hot. <laughs> Just your left foot? Yeah, it's my hot foot. Anyway, I thought I would cool my left foot down in the park fountain. And I'm your right sock, so your left sock must still be there, where you took it off at the fountain. What did we do next, Peter? Hmm. Well, I sat down on the side of the fountain. I took my shoe off! Oh, Peter, are you okay? Again? Yes. I don't get it. I've cooled my left foot off in the fountain a gajillion times, and I've never thrown my shoe in. It's like, without both of my lucky socks, I'm cursed! No, that's not true. Sorry! Oh, that could have happened to anybody. I'm sorry, Mr. Socko. This has been fun and all, but without my other lucky sock, I'll never have good luck again. Guess I won't be doing any new tricks on my scooter after all. Hmm. Knock, knock. Or 
should I say sock sock? Get it? Because I'm a sock and it rhymes with knock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry we couldn't find your other sock, Peter. But even if you can't wear your two favorite socks together, at least you got Mr. Socko. That is right! Hey, that's true. And we did have fun today. I should introduce you to some of my friends, Mr. Socko. Fred, this is Mr. Socko. Mr. Socko... <gasps> Peter, look! My other lucky sock! Now I remember. Fred needed to borrow it for his cold foot. That must have been when you guys got separated. Case closed! Oh, Mr. Socko, I can't wait to wear you both and feel lucky again. Oh, you mean I have to go back to being just a sock on someone's foot? But we were having so much fun! We were. I could wear both of my favorite lucky socks again, or... Now you have a sock friend, too. <gasps> Pink amazing! <laughs> but hello there. My name is Miss Socky. What's yours? Charmed to meet you, Miss Socky. I'm Mr. Socko. Charmed to meet you, Mr. Socko. I love your bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now, everybody? Ooh, I've got an idea. How about a game of... Sock ball! Yay! <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Here you go, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this oh, is this so much fun. fun. <laughs> what a pair. <laughs> This is Kira. She's actually a hand and rod puppet. Sarah Nolan is a puppeteer. I have my hand in Kira's body. Oh, hello. And uh, that way I'm able to manipulate her mouth, right? Sarah creates puppets and performs all over the world. This is Hugo, and he is a grumpy fairy. She's the resident artist at the Puppet Showplace Theater. She's their puppet expert. Today we're making a rod puppet. And this. He's a very simple rod puppet. One main control rod, and that turns his head. And crumple. And then we start making puppet heads. We crumbled up newspaper and then put tape over it. Then we all chose a cloth and a yarn color. Hold your puppet out in front of you so the audience can see. <laughs> Is the grandpa voice really high or really low? So he's going to be like, oh, son, you're, you're back from college. <laughs> like that. That's like great. Slow. I'm so proud to present Back From College. Oh, 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 son, you're back from college. Yes, and I've been there for 42 years. We've got some catching up to do. Bravo! A pink, a perfect pet. Pancakes for dinner? Why not? And they're pink, too. Thanks, Daddy. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Would you like more syrup? Is that a yes, Peter? I didn't say anything. You meowed. <laughs> that wasn't me. Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the front door. That bush is meowing. <gasps> oh, look, a cat. Oh, she's so cute. <gasps> she's so friendly. I wonder who she belongs to. Well, it seems nobody in Pinkville is missing a cat. <gasps> Does that mean we can keep her? 
please? Just until we find out who she belongs to, okay? Yay! <gasps> oh, thank you, Mommy and Daddy. I wonder what her name is. Well, if she's going to be staying with us, maybe we should give her a name. What about butterscotch or, or whiskers? Or pancakes, since that's what we were eating when we first heard meow. Pancakes. I love it, Peter. Aw, Pancakes looks tired. She must have had a long day. Oh, well, she'll need a bed to sleep in. Oh, I think there's a box in my workshop we can use. Come on, Pancakes. Peter and I will make you the best cat bed ever. So tonight, you'll sleep in my room, Pancakes. And tomorrow, you'll sleep in mine. She looks right at home. I know. Do you think we'll get to keep her? I hope so. Night, Pancakes. Night, Pinkalicious. Good night, Peter. Sweet dreams, Pancakes. I'm so happy you're here. Good morning, Pancakes. How did you sleep? Huh? Kittens? Mommy, Daddy, Peter, come quick! Oh, what's wrong? Nothing! Look! Kittens? kittens? Wow! Oh, they're adorable! And just look at the markings on their fur! Oh, so unique! This kitten has purple stripes! Maybe we should call it... <gasps> Lilac! Oh, and this kitten is gray with white and pink spots. Kind of like confetti! Yes! Great name! Oh, love it! Thanks! What are we going to name the other kitten? <laughs> what other kitten? <gasps> A pink kitten? Oh, hi, little kitty. Your name could be... Hmm... Rosie! Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> pink -a perfect <laughs> I better find a bigger box that the kittens can't crawl out of. Aw, Pancakes, you've got your little hands, uh, I mean, paws, full now. <laughs> <laughs> this box is so big, Mommy. The kittens will never be able to climb out of it. Can you kids watch them? Daddy and I have a lot to do around the house. Don't worry, Peter and I will take good care of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're a really good climber, Rosie. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're all good climbers. a kitten problem on our hands. Ooh, they're getting into everything. We need to keep them all in one place. Hmm, it should be a really fun place where the kittens won't ever want to leave. Like the playground. I never want to leave the playground.
Peter, the kittens need a playground that's just right for them. But I don't think Pinkville has a kitten playground. <laughs> then we'll just have to build a new one. <gasps> really? When can we start? How about now? Now, if I were a kitten, what would I like to play with? Hmm, everything? <laughs> well, Mommy's Make Things box has just about everything. <laughs> Ooh, I bet the kittens would love to run through these pipes. Oh, and they like to climb. They could climb up these zigzags. Look, Peter, one of Daddy's old shoes. That's exactly what we need. I know. Wait, why do we need a shoe? <laughs> so Lila can hide in it, just like she did in Mommy and Daddy's <laughs> room. Oh, right. Now we just have to put it all together. Our kitten problem is solved. Presenting the Pinka Perfect Playground. Whoa, it looks wonderful. Great work, you two. Oh, look, I think the kittens like it. Here, Pancakes, now you can relax and watch your kitties play. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, hi, Miss Penny. What a nice surprise. It's not even a school day. Hello, Pinkertons. Um, I heard you found a cat. Yes, she showed up at our door last night. Well, that's just when my cat Pumpkin wandered off. I've been looking all over for her. Oh, it couldn't be Pumpkin. This cat just had kittens. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact... Oh, Pumpkin! I'm so glad you're safe. Well, I guess we found her owner. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, my pumpkin! Well, your kittens are adorable. We named them Rosie, Lilac, and Confetti. I thought of Confetti. Oh, well, that suits them perfectly. Thanks for taking such good care of them. Well, I better be on my way. <gasps> oh, wait, Miss Penny! We have something to show you. Pink Delicious and I made it for the kittens. It has all the things they like to play with. Wow! This is amazing. Oh, I wish we didn't have to go. Time to say goodbye, kids. Goodbye, kittens. Goodbye, pancakes. I mean, <sighs> pumpkin. Oh, we're really going to miss you. Well, you can come visit the kittens any time you like. Okay, well, Goodbye. Oh, and thanks again. Oh, it's just not a kitten playground without the kittens. I know, that was hard for you both. Daddy and I will miss them too. Why don't we do something fun to take our minds off the kittens? Okay. Peter, we're supposed to think of something that doesn't have to do with cats. But that wasn't me. Huh? <gasps> Rosie! What are you doing here? Oh, well, she just jumped right out of the box before I could catch her. Oh, she clearly loves living here. I don't think I could possibly take her away. Well, I wonder, would you like to keep her here? I mean, if it's okay with your parents, of course. <gasps> oh, can we, Mommy and Daddy, please? Please, can we? Hmm, yes. <laughs> Since you both took such good care of the kittens, I think you're ready to have a pet. Yay! Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Thank you. Welcome to the family, Rosie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video channel.